he told me that he was concerned about you and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> a coffin. <laughs> How fascinating. That what you took out of all of that? Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the Goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Five thousand gold from Church of Saros. Yes, we got fundings. It's Casper's birthday here. Have some flowers. Oh, let's, uh, we'll visit Vernetta, but you ain't, I already shown the thing, so. Skip, wait, actually there's one thing I want to show you guys. One thing I want to show you about this, this support. Ready? Here he goes. Okay, so, what I want to show you about this support is right here, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows. My father is obsessed with money. He's only ever seen me as bait for a rich husband. To train me to be a good wife, He'd do things like tie me to a chair. Okay, see right there? you will do things like tie me to the chair. Uh, had you... It feels like something is missing. Like... To train me to be a good, submissive wife, he'd do things like tie me to a chair and leave me there all day, challenging me to stay quiet. Yeah, the thing is, like, when it updated to have the... The second batch of DLC and actually replaced the voice, the first voice actor of Mel Bylet to the second voice actor. Um, they kind of removed that whole second part of the thing. Thing is, like people might cry it's censorship and all stuff, but um, someone actually explained that it has to do with like some translation. Like the first, like the second part was something that the localization added, but this part is what actually was said in the Japanese or the Japanese version of this game. Um, I'll see if I can find the link to it, but um, yeah, that's all I want to show you. Um, skip! Our mission this month is to patrol and set up defenses to stop the assassination plot. All right. <laughs> I wonder if an assassination attempt is truly the goal of our enemy. It's a distraction. Yes, I think so too. How will you know? A barely concealed secret message trying to distract us from whatever's really going on. Sloppy to say the least. I wouldn't say by the by your grades that you'll be smart enough to figure this out, Edgar. You're like C average best. How will you know all this? And while everyone is out searching for a phantom assassin, they'll be free to accomplish their true goal with ease. The monastery houses many valuable weapons. Perhaps that is their aim? I hear the monastery has a treasure vault too. Seems like the sort of place a foe would like some alone time in. Garrig Mach is immense. And not just above ground, but below as well. Perhaps their aim lies beneath the monastery. It seems to me that we should search the monastery for a clue as to what the enemy might be after. Of course, we must never underestimate the need for preparedness, in case a battle should ensue. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, hi, Shamir. Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and this young man is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Hi, Serio. I mean, you work for Rhea? Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. 
Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's nothing but exploration for the day. Um, how about a hubba? We got support with Edelgard and Fernandan von Eyre. Let's see what they have to say. You came at just the right time, Edelgard. Is that so? Yes, I have a story for you. It's about a pair of nobles living about a hundred years after the founding of the Adrestian Empire. One was Derek Von Eyre. People called him the warrior prime minister. He bravely led soldiers into battle and mowed down his enemies. And the other... Was the emperor of the time. She wagered the throne in a duel against Derek and won. Why don't we do what our ancestors did and have a little duel ourselves? God damn it! <laughs> That's what you were going to say. But the answer is no. You interrupted me! The warrior prime minister used a dramatic line to propose the duel, and you did not allow me to say it! My apologies, Ferdinand. Well, at any rate, you were correct in surmising that I was about to challenge you. But you were rather blunt in your refusal. Ferdinand, control yourself. When will you tire of challenging me in pointless competitions? I can quit now if you insist on it. I will not challenge you again. You expect me to believe that? Why do you look so surprised? Of course it is not a valid duel unless both parties are willing. Now that you have refused outright, I must come up with some other way of getting that which I seek. I'm afraid to ask what you could possibly mean by that. Only that I will find some other way of showing everyone that I am superior to you. Huh. I will write a handbill listing your accomplishments, alongside my own more impressive accomplishments. Copyists will produce thousands of these pamphlets and distribute them far and wide. Then everyone will know about my... This has to stop. <sighs> Perhaps I should have ended things with a duel after all. <laughs> Fernand, you're you're super obsessed with this whole thing. Um, I believe someone, uh, master class, Bernie did, and we got her ready for the next level, which is an archer. Let's get her set up for archer right now. Will this suit me? Yes, it suits you much good. Now I'm talking like Petra. All right. So before I begin, um, there before I begin the exploration and activity and all the stuff, to show what I want to show here before we uh, skip to the twenty six. Um, there's something I want to address. Um, this was brought up by um, one of my longtime fan. Who always sees my videos. She likes to ask questions. She's a very nice person. Please support her videos and her streams. But anyways, um, okay. So basically, she asks why, like, with this route, we all know that um, my first route was the Golden Deer, and now my second route is the Black Eagle. The question is, why did I um? start this route as male pilot instead of the more popular female pilot for this route as changing genders would have made this a much more probably more interesting LP and all the stuff well I got two reasons for this one one reason is a personal reason and is that um, if you look at the support my male support for male pilot you can see that I have almost unlocked every single one of the support with the exception of a, the exclusive characters from that route i.e. Adegard, Hubert, uh, Dimitri, Gilbert, the dude, those guys and I want to get those done ASAP. 
So as soon as I can unlock all the support, I could just play Female Violet and worry about unlocking that su those support as well. So and that's one reason. Another reason is that my walkthrough of Fire Emblem, you were supposed to be watching from part one, which is the beginning, then part two. Part two is where I have the end screen to show, or at least you guys can pick which route you want to go. You want to go follow the deer route, the black eagle route, or the blue lion. Now from a story perspective, I start off as Mel Byleth for part one and part two. If I choose to be a female pilot, then that will kind of ruin the whole narrative that I was trying to put in. My LP is more of a kind of, I choose my adventure and we'll travel together as this character that appeared in part one and part two. Changing his gender to a female will kind of ruin the narrative. You get what I'm saying? It's like you start from part two and then if you choose a house and suddenly the main character is a different gender, a female or just a brand new character, is it gonna be like, what happened to the original character? What happened? He just decided to get a sex change in the middle of choosing his house and now he's a female. By all means, uh, by all means, this is just like a story perspective and yeah, nothing against female pilots, but those are like my most two reasons why I'm going with male pilots is for the supports and for narrative standpoints. As you can tell, like, you're supposed to start off from part two. That's all I'm saying. So, now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, explore and... Actually, this is a good time to show off some DLCs. Um, first things first. Know thy enemy, in the only the world, for two in hiding. Abyss rumor, wanted, any information regarding Abyss. Free line, canine frames, a particular trend. Got it. Alright, so, um, one thing to note is that, um, I'm recording this on the 8th, the day after my birthday. And check it out, we actually have option to wear my, uh, the appearance that I'm wearing in the monastery. So I could actually look like a, like this guy and start murdering people, which, you know, I think I should do. However, that's not the most important one. The most important thing is we got three new uniforms. So, we got... The butler uniform. Look at me, I'm snazzy. And we got custom. Why is it so custom about it? Oh, I see. It has red, red accents around it. Yeah, boy. I'm a butler. We got the summer wear where we wear for during the summer. Like I said, it's not that bad. <laughs> and then we got the evening wear. Which I, I guess is... I... Uh, uh, Mm, it does look fancy. Gives me more time to uh, person personalize, say, character. So, uh, yeah, I still have the glasses. I'm going to stick with this because I'm a teacher. Ah, right, for you. I'll stay like that. Hubert! You're going to be a fancy butler because you're trying to be all butler-like. I'm surprised the towel doesn't just fall off. Let's customize you. Look at Snazzy, Hubert! And you know what? You will look like that when you battle. Originally, I was thinking of making Bernie dress up like this in the evening gown, but because of how the voice actor is like, oh my gosh, so cute, cute, cute. Let's. Let's give it a service and give me put in a maid outfit. Not that I want to put a maid outfit. It's just that uh, that video of Erica Mendes just geeking out at burning, going ah, it's cute, and actually, actually did go burning mode. We'll do this at tribute for her. You're a tribute now, Bernie. Actually, they put you. In. No, actually, we'll keep you that way. 
enemy's true target. What could it be? The monastery has been around for nearly a millennium. It's only logical that there are secrets here. We'd better investigate. Would you mind asking around and seeing what you can dig up? Once you've uncovered some leads, we'll regroup. Okay. I have a favor to ask. Uh, sure, I'll accept that. I have a favor to ask. I about the abyss. Name is Sunny, but I don't know anybody. We have time to look for it. Sure. There's another thing that comes with the with the DLC. Anna, how are you doing? Abyss? You're interested in that place, are you? Ancient sprawling remains deep below Garrick Mach. That's abyss. Some folks have made their home there. Obviously, they all have their reasons and tales to tell. But only the most enterprising merchant would venture near it. My advice? Avoid going there yourself. Okay. Oh, hey, how about a favor? Seems that there are some rather tricky across the bath. I like to clear a number of these. Should you have any opportunity to do so? Because are now possessed of battle series of some kind. Okay. Alright, I guess doesn't open. We just have to do an auxiliary battle for it. Abyss? Ancient some Also, we can recruit her. How Ever the whole thing says that she will not have no support whatsoever, so that's a thing. We could recruit Anna, but she doesn't have any support with anybody. And that's not good actually. Cause that's like one thing I was Looking forward to for the Anna support that she'll have some support with us, but she's not gonna have support. Hey, you can't be serious. I need your help. It's right with dog has some fish or meat. All right, um, feed gift for dogs and cats to feed the dogs and cats to get my select food in front of give the animal don't care much for food. It build with magic, but fish produce and meat are enjoyable for them. You give food to dog can you may get something to then get food. However, I have to find another animal to feed. Hi, kitty. Yeah, I got some Calendonian guard. It looks happy. Thanks. Awesome. That's one DLC down. Oh. All right, let's um, give Ergard this. Um, I knew I could count on you. There we go. Give me that. Hmm. There's a place that the church values above all others. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make it much easier than usual to access. The Holy Mausoleum. Precisely. We can't know for certain, but it's a distinct possibility that the Holy Mausoleum is our enemy's target. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. 700 renown. Gonna need more of that. Completo. Hey, Professor. How's it going? Making lots of coin? I'd love to catch up, but I'm super busy right now. Working. For money. You understand. I understand for the past 13 games. 14, 15, 16 games. Anyways, I think for now we're going to recruit her, I guess, just because we can. Just to have her on the team, even though there's no support. Intelligence system, we need support. Hey, Professor. Fancy meeting you here. I've got a business, uh, I mean, I've got something I want to chat with you about. I know you're busy with a lot of things, but I was wondering if I might be able to join you. Heck, I won't even charge you for my aid. What say you? It's a killer deal. Sure. Thank you. Now I'll have plenty of time to get to know my clients better. A merchant needs to know the inner workings of everyone they come in contact with. Helps with the making of the monies, you know. Anna's going to work with you. 
Uh, let's check out... Oh, she has confirmed age this time. 26. Um, she's balanced. In strength and magic, speed, business property, grant 15 luck. That she can support with no one. This mysterious merchant. Com Cameron's collective wear iron, viable business venture, monthly good deals. Good deals. Hey, Professor. How's it? I'd love to see I could actually invite her to tea. And she could teach me a lot of stuff with swords and the likes. You know. Let's go tea time. Hey, Professor. I'd love to see See how much knowledge I have. God damn it. Thanks a million. There he is. Let's do it. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, sweet apple blend. Thanks for having me. Time for business. Oh, wait. A tea party? Thanks a million. You could easily sell this. God damn it. I think this is one of the most interesting designs for Anna there. Sure I'd buy it. That's the way. So. Let's see. Training partner, somebody you look up to, because she'll talk about Jake. Good deal. Yeah, thought so. Competition between us merchants. So, if you've got any ideas on how I can corner the market, praise. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. I'm not going to give you any gifts because you're not going to get any support from me. Why? Is this a joke? Why? Good deal. Good deal. Is this a joke? <laughs> hey, could you avert your gaze a bit? You're weirding me out. Okay. You like my duds? Well, they might look standard issue, but they've got... Oh, save the sales pitch for later? Okay, I'm done here. I swear you're gonna get like three conversation, but nope, at this time. I drink the tea. Mmm, delicious. Let's end the tea party. Thanks for treating me. Let's do this again, yeah? They enjoyed the time together. And we want to increase things by one. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Well, if you want to learn more about Anne, you could just... Anna, you could just do tea times. But... Unfortunately... It's nothing we can do. Yeah, I get no support from that. <laughs> uh, anyways, what was I gonna do? Something here. Oh no, this is other requests. I don't have to do this. I don't have to show this, I mean. If I could get enough thing, I could probably show... um. Level B Rhea, and they will call it a day. Well, not a day, but. Well done. You have my thanks. Give me that 200 points. What I meant to say is, I could now um, do stuff. 
That reminds me, I never shown you guys what is in the holy tomb. Let's go give that visit. There is the holy tomb. There's a lot of items here today. It is almost time to begin. If first time going here, she'll give you an item called Salta Shield, which like increases resistance of every single party member by seven, but lasts for three turns. Look at this, this is actually a very big map that I'm pretty sure will come up later. Krasimunti, Almond Blend, Energy Drop, Spirit Dust, Herring, Onion, Seal Dino Jiggy. Alright. Back to the monastery, please. Alright, let's see if we can get Alright, let's see if we can get this to work. Oh, I adore this. Hmm. Two. Three. That's all of my thing with Jiggy Lady. Have some sunflowers. Another sunflower. One more sunflower. Take my sunflowers. Oh my gosh, that did not do any smacks. Train me how the ways of magic. Practice yields results. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's nothing else I can give her, darn you. Oh, jeez. Anyways, I'm skipping the days. Alright, and welcome back, and look at me. I'm pretty finished with this one, so I got the 100 points renowned. And we got one new support with Adagar, which is Bernetta. Let's check it out. Bernadetta. <laughs> Lady Edelgard, what can I do for you? I appreciate all the effort you're making to overcome your fear of me. Your dedication is commendable. However... I'm just getting in your way, aren't I? No, but Bernie, you're just an intruder. Nobody wants you around. Stupid! Oh. Bernadetta. Yes, the problem you keep running into is that you don't listen to what people are really saying. That's why your efforts are in vain. You need to listen instead of jumping to your own conclusions. Are you listening to me? Yes! Then why aren't you responding? Um, I wanted to listen until you were finished. Were you finished then? I was. Then may I please scream now? By all means. But please try to make it a fairly quiet one. Just a tiny one? <sighs> um, wait. What was I upset about again? That's weird. I forgot why I was about to scream, and now I don't even need to. What a nice feeling! You're trying your best. I know that. But even so... But, but what? What did I do this time? I'm so sorry! Whatever it is! I'll go to my room and never bother you again! Wait! You didn't let me finish! I was only going to say that... Well, she got she was able to scream that time. Good going. Um uh, Certification. Right, I'm gonna have to change some stuff. Um ah, you're done with that and I'm just searching for more stuff for people to do. Okay, 
I think I should be good. If not, then I'll just restart it and figure out. Why did I mess up everything? Anyways, um, let's go on with the mission. Um, while the plot to assassinate, the Archbishop shake the monastery to his core. You suspect the enemy may have a different motiva motivation. Anxiety bound as the Goddess of Right of Rebirth commence. Assault at the Right of Rebirth. Let's uh, do this. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is about to begin. Are we going to move forward with our plan? I believe so. How confident are you in our theory, Professor? You're not wrong. No one's intuition is perfect. It's ridiculous not to have doubts. All that matters is how our enemy makes their move, not how our teacher feels about the plan. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the Goddess Tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flane, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. A coffin. <laughs> How fascinating. That what you took out of all of that? Hurry, Professor. We must find a place to hide where we can guard the stairs to the Holy Mausoleum. If the enemy moves as predicted, we should be able to cut off their escape path and capture every last one of them. Oh! <laughs> Iger Hound, Ordanian, Glasker, Endemonton, Billington Rex, Skeleton, Regent Tabby. There's a doggy thing with Jiggy. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh let's see. This time we're placing Anna with Bernie because Bernie is part of the thing with Jiggy. And you're coming with me. Cause I don't trust you by yourself. Anyways, let's uh because some things. I'm a thief. A new path to tread. She's a lord now. How best to use this strength? Hubert is now a mage. I'll have this down in no time. He is now a cavalier. Oh, Dyson, yes. A gaze upon this splendid finery. He is a priest now. Something interesting for once. You're a mercenary. A new feeling. You are now a brigand. All kinds of ways to get strong. And it'll leave you as a sniper. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else do I want to do? Um, I do want to uh, get the speed in the way. So, give me speed. Let me get one good look at the map. Do -do -do -do. Oh my gosh. The scary man himself. The Flame Emperor Armory. Jeez Louise. I want that Dark Seal. And it seems like there's two treasure chests. Okay, let's get going. All right, bye bye. Defeat the enemy commander. Linger Edel falls or 25 turns pass. We were right. Unwanted guests have come to visit. Oh, those central church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. Her face. Our enemy appears to be after the tomb of St. Saros in the back. Are they attempting to steal her bones? It would be best to defeat them before they achieve their aim. Yeah, ba -ba -bum. Look closely. There are contraptions of some sort on the floor. We must pay attention to our enemy's weapons and advance while attacking them from advantageous positions. 
Oh, it seems like you really are like a beginner. I will prevail. Chiki. Annex. Well, actually, let's um give put me in there. You to someone that actually needs the experience. Hey, this guy. <laughs> No one makes it past me. I'm just getting started. Wait a second. I just realized. Oh no, I did not save. I forgot Sylvain. Oh well. Death Knight, prove your strength and scatter these fools. I don't take commands, or waste my time on weaklings. Yeah. That knight is a powerful enemy. Let's do all we can to avoid him. Ladies and gentlemen, Soth is shield. Thank you. I never got a chance to show you that. But now you do. Now everybody resisting is up. You guys cannot harm me whatsoever. Or at least I tried to. Is that all? Well, how was that? What was that pose, Edgard? Is that like a lurk specific pose? The reinforcements haven't arrived. If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna kill them as well, so... Your plan will fall, buddy. Give me what's inside this chest. Intermediate seal. Awesome. Let's get rid of it. Alright, here comes my favorite part of... Being a freaking lord. Doink! The first is like, doink! <laughs> just a tap. I wonder if Claude does the same thing too. Okay, you're gonna have to go after the chest too, so um No, alright. Do you say anything to him? Out of curiosity. Oof. Like moths to Nah. Same thing. Whatever. Hubert is not to be failing right now. Reinforcements came, and they're a little bit far behind. So you actually try to do a thing, to do things that I want them to try to do. E, like Cynthia, you're kind of <laughs> gonna get killed off by him. You know what, I want to keep something, but I want to check out something. Die! Now you know your limits. Spirit to the star. I'll take that. Do you have anything to say to our Mr. Guy? Uh, sure, let's give it a try. There's no way around it. I accept your challenge. <laughs> This will be fun. We have this covered. We won't hold back. I told you that. I told you to flee, and now you. Oh, I can steal. Actually, can I finish you off? Nah, you know what? I'm just gonna steal. I will prevail. Seems like the better option of it. No, we're gonna shove you somewhere. We're gonna shove you up here. Bam. Let's just go ahead and kill him off. Stay focused. But first. I 
I can't give you those. Ah, of course. Uh, let's see, what can I give you? <laughs> hey, I'm just dorky. Oh no, I, I screwed up. I still got plenty of divine posts left, so uh, Stay focused. let's go with convoy. The door key, rusted thing, the steel. Thief has been completed. All right, let's prevail. finish the thing that guy off, Irgard. You're too late. The seal will be broken any minute now. You will never defeat me. Oh. Taste magic. Ow. There we go. Well, how was that? That's kind of weird with the axe. It's a long road yet. It's no use. A seal is broken. You can't. Huh? A sword. You're dead. That sword is... I see. What a pleasant surprise. He got away. That sword. Why is it... That's the sword that was in the casket. Seems to be shimmering. Almost as though... Is the intruder here? Oh. Looks like you have this under control. You, round up any stragglers. Will do. Sage completo! Who's the MVP? Anagard is the MVP. I was hoping for Petra to be MVP. Whatever. I got the Sword of Kuru of the Curator. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Execution! Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No, this isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait, please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. Hmm, something's not right here. That's that, I suppose. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It was all the Western Church's doing. 
that masked knight who led the attack somehow managed to disappear without a trace. The Church of Saros clearly isn't as unified as it would hope to appear. It seems the Bishop of the Western Church was always opposed to the Church being ruled centrally from Garig Mach. Perhaps they hoped to remove the Archbishop in order to completely strip the Central Church of its authority. Oh, uh, what are you guys talking about? What's the West Church? Oh, that's right. Geralt mentioned that you were raised without any exposure to the Church. In order to function more efficiently, the Church of Saros is split into several smaller entities. The Central Church is the largest, and leads the organization from Garig Mach. The Western Church extends from Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato rebelled, into the Far West. They can be found just beyond the most renowned stronghold of the Kingdom, the fortress city of Arian Road. It seems the Knights have been tasked with subduing the leaders of the Western Church. We may be given the opportunity to help them with their mission. To think. Our own professor was born in Fodlan, and yet knew nothing of the Church. <laughs> I never imagined explaining something so basic to an instructor of mine. You're something of a special case, are you not? Shut up, Hubert! How strange that the Archbishop would ask someone like that to lead her students. There's clearly more to that decision than we know. Lady Rhea is pretty scary sometimes. But to execute that whole group, just like that? It seems harsh, even for her. If one of us does something bad, I wonder what she would do to us! Professor, do you agree with the Archbishop's actions? Whether I agree or disagree is being interrupted. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. Oh wait, I think I said that too... too early. Darn it! People would not know I already played one route! The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. Oh! Oh! Now I get. I see. I see. I'm not telling you guys. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was: the sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm, as expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. You know, um... I know I'm showing most of these cutscenes again to those who already seen me play through the Golden Deer route, but it's best to like re-see these cutscenes one more time if you guys are re-watching it and finally putting some things together that was not present in the other route. I think I'm going to do the same thing with the Blue Line route as well because they're going to have some information not currently known in both the Black Eagle and the Golden Deer. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's Crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its Crest Stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> he sounds like the CG I do not Bob. thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, 
I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Voldlin would be consumed by war. Nemesis? Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlin was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlin. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sedeth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? It certainly is strange. I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Ka... Kat... Nya? Or Catherine? Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole, where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on! It... it frightens me! And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Yes, ma'am. Voices in my head. Huh, interesting. Um, for those who don't know, um, I'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek of what happened. Um, in that scene, right after you leave, um, Claude would have appeared and talk about more about the Sword of the Creator. Like, he's planning something. Here, I was expecting Edgar to appear. She didn't. Hmm. Intriguing. That's all I have to say. Everything is a mystery to my head now. I look to you, my